morning students, welcome to my class. Today we are going to start another activity. Today we are going to work in a workshop. Hoy vamos a trabajar en un taller, ok? And what is the topic for the workshop? You are going to explain me the things that you do in your houses. Usted me va a explicar las cosas que usted hace en su casa. I don't know if you remember a video that I put in a class before the quarantine. No sé si recuerdo un video que les puse antes de la cuarentena. The video was about a boy that was learning to speak Spanish. Era un chico que estaba aprendiendo a hablar español. ¿Ok? And he explained us the things of his house. Y él nos explicaba las cosas que él tenía en su casa. Maybe they present, they introduce himself, se introduce, se presenta. Uh, he um, speak about the things of his house, maybe the pictures, the photos. He present us his bedroom. Él nos explicaba su cuarto, su familia, sus amigos, usando fotos. That's right. Did you remember? So your project is to explain me, but in English, because you are learning English. Pero su proyecto es explicarme en inglés, porque nosotros estamos aprendiendo a hablar inglés. Ok? I am going to give you a little example, but you can do it uh, about your creative, according to your creative, ok? That is my idea. Yo les voy a dar un ejemplo, pero esa es mi idea, ¿ok? Usted lo puede realizar de acuerdo a su creatividad, ¿ok? And what is the rules of the workshop? ¿Cuáles son las reglas? Distraction, ¿ok? Pay attention. You must wear the uniform. Usted debe utilizar el uniforme, el uniforme de parada. If any case... You don't have the uniform, si en algún caso usted no tiene el uniforme, you can use uh, any clothes that shows any sign of the institution, ¿ok? Si usted no tiene el uniforme, usted puede utilizar algo que le caracterice y que es de la institución. For example, a uh, stamp, usted puede ponerse un sellito aquí, of the institution, el sellito de la institución, ¿ok? It doesn't matter. But it's better if you wear the uniform. Pero es mejor si usted utiliza el uniforme, obviamente, ¿ok? Uh, your video has to be at least 3 minutes. Al menos 3 minutos tiene que tener su video, ¿ok? Uh, remember, that is like an exposition, como es tipo una exposición. You have to present yourself, usted tiene que presentarse usted mismo. And you have to present the topic. Okay, as I said before, I am going to give you an example, okay? You are going to start. Good morning, authorities. Good morning, teacher. And good morning, my dear classmates. My name is Belen Bonita. And I am going to explain you my daily routine. Every morning, I get up very early. I dress up and I open my computer in order to do my homework. I enter to the platform, to my class. There, I have the homeworks of my teachers. I review the topics and the homework that I have to do and I take the videos in order to understand better my homework. I open my book, I look for the correct page and I start to do the homework. Sometimes I have to read something more in order to understand better. 
After doing my homework, I... And here you have an example, okay? In this case, I do my video in this way. But you can do it in other ways, okay? Remember, remember the video. Also, you can use, for example, here I have a plant. That is my plant. Pay attention, okay? I both it uh, two years ago. And I love it. Ok, en este caso I am presenting, yo estaba presentando mi planta, ok? So, you can do many things. The activity is open, es abierta, but at least you have the topic. Usted ya tiene el tema, ¿no es cierto? Con el tema usted va a realizar lo que usted desea. Using the language, usando el lenguaje. That's right? So, thank you students, that is all for today. If you have any doubt or any problem, please tell me. Si tiene alguna duda, dígamela. And I am going to explain you. So thank you. That, that is all for today. Have a nice day. Goodbye.